with the incredible Vanessa Williams. Yes. Um, she is a judge on the new drag singing competition series, Queen of the Universe. And it's time to bring out one of her fellow judges. This show, with all of its panel, really has so much expertise. I'm so excited because the contestants are gonna benefit so much, and someone who knows so much about that is Ross Matthews. Well, I do know a thing or two about judging shows. Yes. RuPaul's Drag Race. And I got to see this queen rise to fame on Drag, Drag Race, and now she's one of the most successful queens on the planet. Please welcome the fabulous Trixie Mattel. <laughs> Um, for starters, Trixie, this is how you show up. Look at you. Hey, listen, it takes a lot of confidence to come sit next to Vanilla, Vanessa it Williams. Does not. Okay. I know. We I agree. Today, I, I agree with that. that. Well, what? you know, there's a lot of herstory here, drag race herstory. I have to say, I judged you, Trixie, on season seven. Yeah, you did. I want to talk to you about that. We'll get to that. <laughs> And then, <laughs> Vanessa, I judged you on Celebrity Drag Race. Celebrity Drag Race. Yes, look at you there. Yes. There you Bang are. Bang the house. Yes. <laughs> and then, Dolly. Vanessa, you judged Trixie on All Stars. Isn't that crazy? Which Trixie won, by the way. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. Yes. Can you believe it? <laughs> How do you go about saying what you need to say, Trixie? What's your approach? I've been a competitor and I called Michelle the week before it started and I was like, how do you judge people? How do you judge drag queens? And she said, think about it. They're away from their friends, their boyfriends, their normal audience. You as a judge are their only lifeline to tell them what they need to do to make it to the end. Mm -hmm. And that made it easy because as a competitor, you want that information. Yeah. So you try to just tell them what you think they need to know to snatch the crown. But they're probably terrified, and you know a thing or two about that because you stood in front of people. I mean, were you starstruck when Vanessa was a judge for you? Are you kidding me? Okay. I mean, I was starstruck then, but then when I realized I had to sit next to her every day. Uh -huh. And by the way, all my gay friends are happy for me, of course. They're like, we're all happy for your show. <gasps> Vanessa. <laughs> <laughs> by the way, you're having an anniversary on Save the Best for Last, which is the Good Lord. Is it giant, been 30, 30 epic, years already? Yes, it's the <laughs> most epic song ever. <laughs> It's been very good to me. Did you know when you were singing that song that it would be such an everlasting I hit? did not. By the time I got it, I heard Wendy Wallman uh, was playing, uh, Wendy Wallman, John Lind, and, and Phil Galson wrote the three of them. And uh, they had given it to Streisand, she passed. They had given it to Bette Midler, she passed. So by the time it got to me, they were like, okay, let's see. And uh, I loved it. And it's one of those things that was just a sleeper hit. Like it just- See, I love that. It's like, it's meant to be. Yeah. And then was it true that you had a trick to sort of um, slick your voice yes. up, so to speak? It's Lay's potato chips. What? Which are so when your voice gets tired, have you heard from this trick, I heard right? it from you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. When your voice, I mean, you're singing a lot and your voice gets kind of tired. And the Lay's, the grease, or the oil, shall I say, and the Lay's potato <laughs> chips and the salt kind of makes your voice, like, it, it brings the high end back. For reals? For reals. But, but how do you stop chips? eating the chips? That's yeah, the problem. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, I'll or be right back. I'm not, I know, or if you're not a singer. <laughs> I'm sure you don't eat a chip and then magically, like, <laughs> perk you out. I'm sure that's not the case. But no. this is the kind of wisdom you're sharing with the contestants on Queens of the Universe, right? Yeah, I mean, they, I don't think they have access to chips back there. But what do they call them, Chris? And they're in corsets and stuff. They're yeah. not having chips. They're not having <laughs> chips. No. But it was nice to judge all of them because all of those competitors are so amazing. I mean, every yeah. number, our jaws on the floor. Just <gasps> amazing. You know, you have done such an amazing job of making a career and, and just becoming this icon. And I know you actually brought something here today that has never been seen before. I true? did. I brought the Trixie doll, if you guys would like to see it. Yes! yes. Okay. So we know you love dolls. I'm so excited to oh, see this. Look at here she oh, is. Thank uh, you. Look at this here she is. <laughs> oh my gosh. I know. Isn't that wild? Look at you. She's beautiful, right? And can you believe they got my real waist size in the doll? <laughs> I love her. It was so when I opened her and saw her, this is the first one. I just sobbed. I couldn't believe it. Aww. You are priceless. <laughs> By the way, it's cookie week on the show. If each of you would pick the cookie that you chose to bring here that best represents who you are as a person. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna kick it off. Vanessa, 
guessed my cookie. Boom. I picked the Thin Mint cookies as my representative in a cookie. Why? Because, why? Yeah. Because Girl Scouts are scrappy, mm -hmm. they're uh -huh. entrepreneurial, and they know how to get it done. They know how to hustle and make it happen. Okay, so Vanessa, what's your cookie? Mine is uh, the molasses oh. cookie. It's, so it's brown, it should be soft, and there we go. Sweet with a little bit of spice. Just like you. Creeps up on you. Creeps mm -hmm. up on you. Creeps up on you. Watch out. Trixie, what's your mm. cookie? Well, I have selected this lovely pink sugar cookie. Isn't it gorgeous? Mm -hmm. It's a lot like me. It's beautiful to look at. It's thin. It's light. It's filling. It's pink. Hey. <laughs> mm. I love this. I love it, Trixie, mm. and I love you. Rossi! Well, I thought long and hard about this, Drew, uh, and I am a ginger snap, because hi! <laughs> <laughs> oh, a ginger snap. I am a ginger snap. <laughs> That's so perfect for you. Thanks. I took it really seriously. Speaking of cookies, um, I love the treats from Mini Melanie, and it's a Brooklyn-based company that has made cakes for my daughters. I'm so grateful to them, and they have delicious cookies and brownies and truffles and more, and they ship nationwide, and everyone in our audience is going home with a $50 gift card. <laughs> Queen of the Universe, streaming now on Paramount+. Plus.